guys, I'm going to make a quick video on how to connect your uh, PlayStation 3 Bluetooth controller to a Bluetooth device without a USB cable. In my case, I'm going to be using my Galaxy S3. You can do whatever Android phone you want. Uh, first things first, uh, my phone's dying. That's first things first. Okay. So, um, sorry about that. What you're going to want to do is go into the Google Play Store and download an app known as Six Axis Controller. Six Axis is one word. If you don't know how to spell it, look at the top of your PS3 controller. Um, I think it might have been a dollar. I don't remember. Uh, but either way, you simply download this. You're going to want it because it also has all touch screen mapping and such built in. And it's really a beautiful application. It's really good. You could even see it's got 4.4 ratings with 1600 ratings. That's pretty damn good. So once you have that, you open it up, and you'll see your local Bluetooth. Sorry, local Bluetooth address at the bottom. Um, it's that little faded gray kind of writing at the very bottom of your screen. You're gonna want to either write it down or just keep your phone handy. And I actually have this opened up in a virtual box, so excuse me. This is the Windows application. You're going to want to go to this website. They do also have it for Mac and Linux. Um, for some reason, the six pair application wasn't working for me on Mac, so I decided to um, go Windows. I'm currently running Windows 8 in this virtual box, so it shouldn't really matter, and I didn't even try the Linux. Um, but uh, they don't really have it here. Either way, so just download the app if you feel more comfortable doing it on Mac or Windows, whichever. Um, and it's actually, I think you have to install it because it has some drivers and such. So install it and run it. Uh, I have mine right here. And you plug in your device via a uh, mini USB, which apparently it doesn't come with. I didn't know that. Um, and on top you see the current master address. This, in my case, happens to be the same as my phone, but for you it should not be. Um, all you do is look at that address you just took down, type that in right down there with the colons and all. Um, I don't think the capitalizations matter with the letters, but just make sure you get it right. And then just hit update and it should uh, configure everything for you. Just as a sign of good faith, I'm going to actually do it for you guys. Um, even though it's actually the same exact thing right here. Just to show you I'm not just going to do it and you don't get to see the whole process. I've seen a lot of videos where people just tell you to do something and don't go all the way through with it. So I'll hit update. And that's it. Um, this you would normally see change, but it's the same thing. Like, I don't know, T. See, change. That's not a real thing. There's no T's. It's hex. Um, sorry. And just put an E here. There you go. So now it changes it. Now you go back to your phone and hit pair controller. Now, it'll have that same exact actual master. You can actually do this one of two ways, to be perfectly honest. You can either change the master to match your phone or the phone to match your master. I find it easier just to do the master to the phone. And then you just press pair. This way you don't have to reset any other devices and such. Um, and make sure my Bluetooth is on. That always helps with finding devices. Um, obviously, guys, if you are trying to do this, you need Bluetooth on. Um, if you don't know how to turn on your Bluetooth, I'm not really going to help you there. So I'm press start. And boom. It, um, it kind of spazzed out the first time. It said no device found, but it actually was. Then it connected, said attempting connection type 1, driver starting, and then it actually ran my touch emulation, which was pretty cool. And yep, 
now it's all good and set up. And I can go game now. Um, you'll notice if I unplug my controller. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say. Unplug your controller, or it will not work. I'll show you right now. Pair controller, you need to do this. That'll say client controller connected one, and this will vibrate. Otherwise, if it's still plugged in via USB, it's going to keep searching through USB. Um, so once you change the master, unplug it. And no, this can't do any damage to your PS3 controller. All you're doing is changing the master address, which won't do anything to your controller. Just saying now. Um, I'm pretty sure you need a rooted phone to do this. I'm like 95% sure. Um, just because I think you need it for uh, running some drivers and keeping 6-axis running in the background. And I'm pretty sure you need root access for anything that has to do with touch emulation. Which is why uh, if you have USB Joy slash Bluetooth Center, um, you need root for their touch emulation as well. So, um, that's how you do it, guys. I uh, hope this video helps. Um, I realize it might be annoying to see what I'm doing on the computer, but it's really simple. Um, I'll include the link in the description, and it, they have their whole tutorial there, so if I'm speaking horribly or something like that, just go there, and uh, you should be able to see it pretty well. But other than that, I hope this video helps, and I hope you guys can connect your PS3 controllers to um, your Bluetooth device and just kick ass in games, man. Anyway, um, I will see you guys in the next video. It will most likely be something with this phone. Check out my channel, comment if you need help, and have a nice night.